What's up guys? It's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, guys, so here it is, guys. It's time. It's Pokemon League time. So, in our last long episode, we went straight into the victory road and we defeated quite a few trainers, leveled up, and uh, you know, we're ready to go right here. They're really isn't anything special about this Pokemon League, per se. Um, it's It follows the Unova, the Unova, what was it? The, the Unova concept where you can pick and choose who you want to battle first. Obviously, if you lose, you have to start all over again. And uh, we're going to be walking straight down the middle, and there is somebody right here. And, uh, well, you're the illustrious Draven, are you? Welcome at last at the Pokemon League. I am one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire-type Pokemon user, Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four and our champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her here, you must first defeat the four of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a, a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed the big bad Team Flare. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go after her first because, yeah, she doesn't recognize she doesn't recognize me and all my swag. So, let's see. Let's go with uh, let's go with Moko, and work our way right there. Now we are we are kind of playing a little bit of a of a of a, you know, we are kind of playing a, a like a little gambling game right here because there's not a lot of Pokemon that I have or our Pokemon team is not the best. In our last few series and all that stuff, but I kind of, I kind of like the challenge because, you know, it, it, it just is. It's, it's just there. The challenge is right there, and I, I really want to just win and all that stuff. But look at this. Ah, she's in her flames. Okay, bring it on, Melva. If you guys don't know, she's from Team Flare and all that stuff. So, welcome, challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Melva, and I shall be your opponent today. Alrighty. Listen to the music. Yeah. And Malva. Mm, looking fine. All righty. So here it is. We are taking on Elite Four Malva. And she will be coming out with a Pyroar. And look at this. This is the female version of Pyroar. Let's go. Moko. That's right. Moko's right here. Ready to go. It's a Dragon-type Pokemon. Doesn't have the best Dragon-type or Water-type move. But yet, yeah, it will still do something. And here comes a Hyper Voice attack. All righty. Let's go. Oh, yes. Super effective. We are not the fastest Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and get another Hyper Voice on us. And here comes the Muddy Water. And there you go. Pyroar has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And here comes Talonflame. Talonflame is a very, very strong Pokemon. Who here? Actually, you know what? Let's go with Moko still. I believe in Moko. All right. Let's go with a Thunderbolt attack right here. And here comes a Brave Bird attack. This is going to be a strong one. And look at this. Bam. Hits us where it hurts. Near the jugular, but Thunderbolt for the win. Oh, nearly nearly wins this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a full restore. I'm pretty sure Malva's going to be using a full restore too. So let's go right here. Give it uh, to this Pokemon right here. So here we go. Full restore. Yes, I told you. She's going to go with that. So, great minds do think alike. And, well, let's go right ahead and do this again. Um, you know what? Since our Pokemon are not that strong, let's see. Let's go with this. An X special attack right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here comes a Brave Bird attack. This guy is going to try and beat us with the Brave Bird. And that is a very, very painful one. Let's go right ahead and tank it. Let's go with a Thunderbolt attack. And here comes a Brave Bird again. Good gravy. Come on, Moko. Tank it. And damn it. It was a critical hit. Okay. Alrighty. So... We are not happy right now. Let's go with Star Fox right here. So we knew we were going to struggle just a tad bit. So let's go straight for a Psychic Attack. And there you go. Psychic Attack does its thing. Talonflame, you have been defeated. 
All righty. And, well, Jordan the Goat grows to level 70. And she's about to come out with Torkoal. So let's go with Torkoal, or let's go with Jordan the Goat. And, uh, well, it is a Grass-type Pokemon. But it does have Earthquake Attack. It's a physical attack from what, it, from what I've seen. So let's go straight for that Earthquake. And there you go, Earthquake. Nearly defeats this guy. Now, seriously, you're going to go with a Curse Attack. That right there will elevate its stats. So let's go right, right again with an Earthquake. So there we go, Earthquake. And there goes Torkoal. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All righty. Star Fox grows to level 72. And here comes a Chandelure. Now, this Pokemon right here is going to be difficult to defeat, but we're going to go straight for Evil Bacon. All righty. Evil Bacon. All righty. Evil Bacon. How's it going? And here comes a Dark Aura. Evil Bacon, let's go. Straight for a Phantom Force attack right here. Or no, not just, I'm just kidding. A Dark Pulse attack. And well, Chandelure has been defeated. Yes, Evil Bacon doing his thing. And Malva, you are the first. <laughs> you suck. Anywho. Fantastic. Utterly fantastic. I'll report to all the world and news of you and your Pokemon dominating the Pokemon League. I am a Holocaster star after all. <laughs> I'm such a busy woman. Three members, uh, three more members of the Elite Four stand between you and the champion. Take that elevator, elevator there to return to the main hall if you're ready for them. Whatever you say, homegirl. Okay. So like I said, I do love a challenge, guys. And, uh, well, that's probably what's going to happen right here. Because, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, revive our good old buddy Moko right here. I do have a few, uh, what was it called, uh, rare candy, so I might be using those. And there we go. And not a carbo. Well, you know what? You can use a carbo for this guy. And full restore. Now I'm gonna be looking at the handbook because I kind of want, I kind of want this to be a little easier. Let's see. Where are you? That's the blazing one. Where's the water? Damn it! Where's the water? Screw it. I don't care. Let's just be uh, let's just be conspicuous about this whole thing. Um, what is this? Okay, so we're gonna have to play to our strengths right here. It's just a guessing game. I can't remember which one. The Ironworks Chamber. Okay, so this right here should be a little bit easier for me because, well, I do have Star Fox with me, and uh, let's go right ahead and move ahead to this one right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get it. Alrighty. Look at that. Holy buckets. And look at that. That is pretty awesome right there, guys. Okay. And, yes, he is ready. And he is dressed up as a knight. A god dang knight. Look at this guy. Man. Way to take your job seriously. Well met, young challenger. Ver uh, verily, I am of the Elite Four's famed blade of hardened steel with Wistrom. With my uh, magnific magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of a, a trainer's achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard. Okay. I love this song. Alrighty. Let's do this. Here we are taking on Wistrom. Look at this. He, all he looks majestic AF. Let's go. And he's coming out with a Klefki. Now, again, keep in mind, guys, some of these Pokemon, they, um, some of these Steel-type Pokemon might, might have a sturdy effect. So just keep, in, keep that, you know, in the back of your head. It, they will start off with, uh, with spikes. So, yeah, be aware if, you know, you switch out your Pokemon, you're probably going to get hurt and all that crud. So there we go, Star Fox with an easy KO, and Nacho grows to level 69, giggity. And here comes a Probo Pass, holy buckets. Okay, let's go with Jordan the Goat. Oh my god. Good god, I hate Probo Pass. Now, Probo Pass right here is a Pokemon that is capable of trying to paralyze you just because of how slow it is. And yes, we're gonna get hit by spikes. Let's go, Leaf Blade. Alrighty, Leaf Blade. 
And, oh wow, okay, so, yeah, the flash cannon is going to hit us, and no. Okay, so let's go straight for an earthquake attack. And, yes, super effective probe pass has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, here comes a scissor, so let's go right ahead and go back to Star Fox. Now, again, there's spikes on the floor. You will get hit. Be aware of that. Sue, so, here we go, Star Fox. Wickstrom's coming out with his scissor. And, uh, yes, we're going to get hit by spikes. Let's go with flamethrower attack. Man, you are the easiest of the Elite Four. Look at that, Scizor defeated. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Alrighty, and well, Aegis Slash is coming in. Let's go, let's continue on right here. Aegis Slash, remember, it has its, uh, what was it called, its its battle stance. And it will be able to tank, tank some of your attacks if its stance changes. From defense to offense, offense to defense, and here comes a Shadow Claw. And that right there is a one-hit KO buckets. Okay. Evil Bacon. Let's go. Its defenses are down. Evil Bacon. Dark Aura. All right. You didn't expect that. Let's go. Dark. Oh, crap, Baskets. Seriously? You're going to full restore? Okay, so here we go. Dark Pulse attack for the win. And there we go, Aegis Slash has been defeated. And Evil Bacon takes all of that. Look at this, level 60. Yeah, buddy. And Blade grows to level 68. We have defeated Wickstrom. That was easy. That was way too easy right there. <laughs> okay. What now? What sweet glorious pain and joy now rock my mighty heart? My will, which even shakes up spears and trembles at so fine a battle this, as, as this. I am undone. Good sir. You are indeed our equal and worthy and enter, to, uh, enter this lofty hall. So you have struck down two of the elite four. The road is still long. Do not waver now. Man, he is very poetic. Very, very poetic. And I can't read worth a you-know-what. But it is still what it is, what it is, guys. Okay, so that's two down. Two more to go, plus the Elite Four and uh, the Champion. And, uh, well, there we go. We fixed Star Fox. We're going to use a... Oh, wow. Full Restore onto that guy. And that guy. Alrighty. How many How many rare candies? Oh, we have two rare candies? Are you serious? Good God. I thought I had like seven of them. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to the left side. Let's see what we got. And we got Dragon Mark Chamber Buckets. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough one because it is a Dragon type trainer. Dragon Claw. You know what? I'm going to give this to Evil Bacon. How in the heck does Moko not know? Not, well, can. Why? How can. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm just. Whatever. So, let's see. It is a physical attack, and its physical attack is right there. So, let's go ahead and take away Psychic for the time being. I do have an extra Psychic just to teach it. So, Evil Bacon learns Dragon Claw. And we do have Ice Beam. And, yes, Moko can learn this. So, let's go right ahead and use that. Ice Beam. And... Well, let's go ahead and take away Thunderbolt for right now. Okay. Alrighty. All right, so we're prepared. We are ready to go. Oh my God! Should have gotten. We should have gotten to the fight or the 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 water type trainer. That should have been easier. But you know me. I'm uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's go. Bring on, bring on the dragons. I'm just uh going up there, minding my own business, and oh my God, it is foggy. Somebody took a gas in here, and oh my god, the wings are alive, and uh, oh my god, it looks like it's exactly like a dragon. Holy buckets. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And oh, wow, I thought that there was going to be fire there, but nope, just uh, that. Okay, let's talk to this individual. Oh, goodness. Hello to you. Welcome, welcome. Come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, quite strong indeed. That's just wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds. Ah, 
Okay. Grow like weeds. Let's go. We're taking on Drazna. And she looks like she's from, like, the, the Alola region or something like that. She could be. So here we are taking on Drazna. And she is coming out with her... Oh, wow. Dragolidge right there. And, well, Dragolidge is, is another Pokemon that I really wanted to use. And, uh, well, we're not going to be using them anymore because we're going to go with a Dragon Claw. So let's go Evil Bacon. We are faster than this Pokemon right here. And that will take a good hit. And here we have a Poison Point. It is a drag. It is a Poison type Pokemon right there. So just be aware. And, yes, we're going to get hit with a freaking Thunderbolt. So let's go. Let's get it. Come on. Let's go with a Dragon Claw yet again. And just like that, Dragolidge has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Moko grows to level 63. And it's learning Outrage. Okay, so that is a good Dragon-type move. And we're going to make sure to switch it for a Dragon Pulse, okay? Okay, so there it is. Moko has grown a level. And uh, Evil Bacon is dying. So, let's see. Here comes Altaria. So let's go right ahead and use... Evil or Moko right here. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. And I'm texting right now. Thinking, um, with a vid. Alrighty. So, Alteria, how's it going? You're going to be four times weaker to Ice Beam. So, let's go straight for Ice Beam attack right here. And look at that. Alteria has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's another one down. Moko, you are doing the Lord's work. And, well, here comes Noivern. This Pokemon will be faster than the most of us. But we're going to go straight for the Ice Beam attack after getting a hit. So here comes a Dragon Pulse attack. And, oh, my God. That hurt like a mug. And, well, here comes the mug. Ice Beam for the win. There we go, Moko. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Drudagon right here. So, we're going to go with Moko right here. Drudagon, if you physically hit this Pokemon right here, it will leave you with some damage with its rough scales. And look at this. Ice Beam does its trick. Here comes a Dragon Tail attack. This will make our Pokemon faint. Oh, my God. Come on. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for Evil Bacon at the risk of you know what's going to happen. Okay, so here we go. Dark Aura. Let's go straight for a Dragon Claw attack. And, bam. Hits it. And there we go. Rough Skin hits us. But it doesn't matter because we win again. Alrighty. So there we go, more points, and just like that, Jordan the Goat, level 71, Drasna has been defeated. Okay, all right. All right, we did our thing, and, uh, well, oh, you, you're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. Yes, yes, we are. Okay, so the next one, and uh, she's going to be looking at us, and she's going to be like, oh, you're going already? Farewell, then. With your Pokemon, I'm sure you can beat the last of us which is a Water-type Trainer right here. So let's get the heck out of here. Heal up our Pokemon and, uh, you know, be ready for the last of the Elite Four again. All right, let's see. Rare Candy, Full Restore, Evil Bacon. You are, you are, like, you are the, you're probably one of the best additions I've had so far. And let's go right here. And... Here comes a full restore. And, uh, well, the next Pokemon trainer is definitely a, it's definitely going to be a strong one. So we're going to be going with Jordan the Goat right here. And uh, we're going to see what happens. So let's go straight for the next trainer. And before I do anything, I just want to see something here. Because if he starts out with a goddamn Gyarados, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, so, yes. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we're we're ready for this guy right here. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get it. How's it going? 
We're going to be going up against a uh, water type gym leader or uh, elite four member. And, uh, well, <sighs> let's see what happens. And this, this whole place is going to, you know, end up in water right here. And, well, would you look at that? Where's the water? Wow. How do we not drown in this? It's beyond me. That is pretty awesome. Okay. Bring it on. Let's go up against this guy. Why are water type trainers, male in particular, uh, very, uh, very, very, uh, how should I say it? No, I, I simply can't say. You there, young man. I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called art? Why are they so artistic? That's the word. Indeed. You see, cooking is a type of art that disappears as soon as it's completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victories soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life made up of fleeting uh, experiences, that is truly artful. You see what I mean, guys? Why are they so artistic? Okay. So, here we go, taking on Siebold. And he's looking uh, pretty fantastic right there with his golden locks and all that crud. So, here we are, taking on... Bam! Clauncher. Clauncher is a pretty awesome looking Pokemon. Too bad it's gonna... Too bad it's gonna go down right now. So, here we go, Leaf Blade for the win. And look at that, Leaf Blade does its trick. Holy buckets. Oh my god, and well, there you go. And here comes a barbacle. So we're going to continue on with uh, our good old buddy, Jordan the Goat. And let's go straight for a Leaf Blade attack right here. So here it is. Leaf Blade. For the win. There you go. Barbacle defeated. Okay. Alrighty. So that's two. And here he's going to be coming out with the Gyarados. This is a... This is going to be a crazy one, guys. Understand this, that Gyarados is a flying and water type Pokemon. Do not let it get off any kind of dragon dances because eventually it will mess you up and it will mess you up completely. Okay, so let's go straight for crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. An outrage attack, crap. Yeah, I kind of did that on my own. And there we go. Oh my god, a dragon dance. Okay, so this Pokemon is going to go for a Dragon's Dance. So here we go. Dragon's Dance again. Good God. Oh, my God. Okay, so here we go. Outrage Attack. That's two, and we are confused. So Gyarados has come off with two Dragon's Dances. We need to switch out to Blade because... This is going to be crazy right here. Now, it is it is a little bit stronger, but Blade's uh, defense is going to is gonna be okay right here. And as you guys can see, not very effective. God dang it. Okay. Rocky Helmet. And it's going to heal up its Pokemon right here. So, let's see. Oh, my God. Here we go. Blade. And yes, both our, both our Pokemon are going to be healed up again. So, we have to tank this guy. We have to tank him. And, okay, so there it is. And what we're going to be doing is an Iron Head attack right here. And it's going to be throwing off a third Dragon's Dance. Holy buckets. The same thing that I said I wouldn't be doing, and I did it. Holy buckets. So, here we go. And Iron Head attack. And that right there is not super effective. So we're going to have to go with a Night Slash and hope for the best right here. And here comes an Earthquake. Holy jeebus. That is... Oh, my God. Holy crud. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to have to stay away from this guy's... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to stay away from this guy's uh, Earthquake attack and everything. So let's go right ahead and use an Oblivion Wing. Hope for the best. Here comes a Dragon's Dance yet again. It is... Yeah, this Pokemon is just magnified right here. Here comes Oblivion Wing. And it looks like to us that we can hit it one more time right here. So hopefully it'll work. And here comes an Ice Fang. Good gravy. And we survive. Holy crud. 
And there we go. We have defeated Gyarados. Oh my god. Off of four Dragon Zances. Oh my god. And just like that, we get ourselves to level 61. Evil Bacon. Oh. Okay. And he's going to be coming out with a Starmie. So let us just continue on right here. Let's finish off these Pokemon. Let's go. Oblivion Wing. Crap Baskets. Yeah, I got a little too cocky right there. <sighs> okay. All right. I do have the Pokemon for this particular situation. Jordan the Goat. All righty. Let's go. Leaf Blade. Even though this Pokemon's a little faster. It's going with a Light Screen attack, which, as many of you guys know, it will raise up its special defenses. So this right here is not a special defensive attack. And just like that, we win. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was shriveled up, guys. I literally was shriveled up when, you know, what you would call it, a Moko. I forgot about the whole Thunderbolt thing. I shall store my memory with you and your Pokemon forever within my heart. Yeah, me, I, you, you wow. Wow, I got scared there. Devote your t yourself entirely so even that which fate will disappear is engraved forever upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate for any human. You have drawn forth the strength of Pokemon with your own particular style and method. And now you can challenge the champion. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. How in the heck did I win that match? I do not know, guys. But I am lucky. I am completely lucky on this whole thing. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna thank the Pokemon God Arceus for this one. So, here it is. The final battle. And we're gonna be reviving our Pokemon right here because crud. Alright, there we go. And Evil Bacon, you, you magnificent beast, you. Oh my god. You're the reason. You're the reason. Okay, so Blade, get your uh, get your thing. Evil Bacon. Alrighty. Woo! Oh my god. Okay, so before we do anything, guys, there is one little thing I kind of want to do, and that is this. I want to I want to give Shadow Ball to Star Fox, and mainly because I have a feeling that this is gonna this is gonna be. This is going to be something right here. So, here we go. Ta-da. And light screen has been taken away. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Crap baskets. Uh, where is it? There we go. Right here. And, well, it is time. It is time. All righty. So, we're going to be going straight for a Pokemon championship battle. The Radiant Chamber. And this one will lead us straight uphill. And oh my God, this has been uh, this has been a, quite an adventure. And whoa, would you look at that? There she is, the champion herself, Deantha. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you must know, I am the champion, Deantha. Oh, but you are you're the child I spoke to in Lumioi City and Kumaran Kumaran uh, Kumaran City, aren't you? then that means that you are also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course, how could I? Oh, I must look like a, such a fool not to recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones that stopped Team Flare for all of us. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You saved us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now and that and, and that I know exactly what it is that you, you've done already. Okay. So here it is, guys. Championship battle. Deantha. The Pokemon League champion. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. So here he is. She's coming out with a Howlucha right here. And, uh, well, your boy is prepared with Star Fox. All right, Star Fox. Let's go. Psychic attack. Here we go. Psychic attack and Howlucha. Say bye-bye. Okay. All righty. Look at that. Okay. So there's another one right there. And uh, Nacho Libre grows to level 70. And she's going to be coming out with a Tyrantrum. This is a... Uh, well, let's see. Who's the Pokemon I wanted to use? Uh, let's see. Check the moves. Check the moves before you do things. Yep, let's go with Moko. The guy that nearly got us beat and eliminated from this place. I always knew you were going to be the downfall of me, Moko. 
Okay, so here it is, Moko and Tyrantrum coming out. Okay, let's go. Ice Beam attack. We are faster. Yes, we are. Ice Beam hits it and nearly defeats Tyrantrum. And here comes a Dragon Claw attack, and that is super effective. So here we go. Dianth is going to go with a full restore right here. So that gives me a chance for two attacks right here. So here we go. Ice Beam attack. Come on. Nearly defeats this guy. One more time. Let's go with an Ice Beam. And here we go. Ice Beam for the win. And that's how you do it. Tyrantrum has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And, uh, well, luckily we have full, uh, we have full, uh, what was it called? Uh, Aurora's, uh, we have, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, we have max revives, just in case something screwy were to happen, you know, kind of like what it almost did in, uh, the water-type Pokemon gym later. <laughs> okay, so here we go, taking on Aurora Aurora's, and this Pokemon is both ice and rock-type, so go for a fighting-type Pokemon, here comes a high jump kick, and just like that, Aurora's defeated, and there we go, we have defeated yet again. And here comes a Gudra. And, well, uh... You know what? Let's go with Moko. I am hopeful that we are faster than this Pokemon right here. And Moko coming straight for another battle right here. Come on, Gudra. Level 66, so it might be faster than us. Good gravy. Okay. So let's go for an Ice Beam. And, yes, we are hitting it off. And, wow, Gudra... Yeah, Gudra tanks that. Okay, so here comes a a, a uh, Dragon Pulse attack and it hits us pretty hard right here. So let's go straight for Evil Bacon, the MVP of this whole thing. Yeah, buddy. All right, Evil Bacon. Let's go. Dragon Claw. And yes, we are faster than this Pokemon right here. And that nearly defeats Gudra. And here comes a Dragon Pulse attack. Hits us pretty hard, so let's go one more Dragon Claw. And Diantha protecting her Pokemon right here. Alright, so let's go with a Dragon Claw. Yeah, okay, so that's super effective. Let's go one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. There we go. Gudra defeated. Alrighty. And, uh, well, that's another one right there. And... Gorgeist is another Pokemon that's going to be coming out. So we're going to continue on right here with uh, Evil Bacon. And we're going to go straight for... Let's go with the Phantom Force right here. So here we go. Phantom Force. And the Trick or Treat has not hit off. So here we go. Bam. Super effective. And Gorgeist is going with a Trick or Treat right here. What is this? And... E okay, so I don't even know what that is. So let's go straight for a Dark Pulse attack right here. And just like that, Gorgeist has been defeated. Alrighty. More points for all of us right here. And Gardevoir is going to be coming out. Now, this is her strongest Pokemon. Be aware, this Pokemon right here will Mega Evolve. And, uh, well, Dark Pulse is being radiated on both ends. We're going to go with an Oblivion Wing right here. So she's going to be Megan evolving her Pokemon. And, well, there you go. All right. So Mega Evolution. Here comes an Oblivion Wing. Just to restore our HP just a tad bit. And holy buckets. This, yeah, this is going to be a tough one. And here comes a Moonblast. This is not good. And that takes care of Evil Bacon. Okay, so Evil Bacon has done his thing. Let's go straight for... Star Fox. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So here it is, guys. The battle that we've been waiting for. So here comes a Shadow Ball. And that nearly defeats... That nearly defeats Gardevoir, so... Wow. And Mega Evolution is kicking our butts right now. So here we go. Shadow Ball. And oh my god. So we got a chance for two. So we basically won. Okay. So here we go. Shadow Ball. Finish it. And that nearly does it. So let's try it one more time. Sh oh, my God. Yeah, Diantha, you're not going to survive right here. So here we go. Shadow Ball. 
for the win. Lowered, uh, there we go. <laughs> Critical hit. And that is how you do it, guys. Blade grows to level 69. Jordan the Goat to level 72. And uh, there it is. We have officially defeated the Pokemon League champion. Whew. Okay. I'm choked up, though. It's so hard to know what I, I should say, but... I'm just glad that this moment that I was good enough to be the champion. After all, it gave me the chance to meet and battle with you and your wonderful Pokemon. Now I understand why dear Augustine Sycamore said that he needed to get Lumioise uh, ready for a new champion. But before I take you there, my dear Draven, would you mind coming this way with me? Whatever you say, homegirl. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, we are going straight to the Pokemon League. And, uh... Well, this is something right here, guys. We are saving the game. And, uh, well, what is next? Here we are. I'm so glad to, uh, to welcome you in. This is the Grand Chamber is, or this Grand Chamber is where you enter the Kalos Regions Hall of Fame. This is where your Pokemon or where Pokemon trainers will live on forever. Remember, always for giving their all into the Pokemon League and for the glory of in light that they shared with all. Okay. Alrighty, so it is time, guys, to heal up, or not heal up our Pokemon, but, you know, to put our Pokemon into the Hall of Fame. Your love for your Pokemon, and the way that the, those Pokemon gave everything they had in the battle for you, we'll record them all here for, their, you know, for all eternity. Okay, so there it is, guys. We are officially into the Hall of Fame. And look at this, guys. Yes. Star Fox. Yeah, buddy. Blade. Jordan the Goat. Because he is the goat. And look at this. Nacho Libre himself. Evil Bacon. Yes. And uh, Moko. That's right. And your badass host. Yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. Your Pokemon League champion and ruler of this world. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be pressing that A button right here. Because it's not the end right now. Take a look at this. A few days later, crowds of people gathered in Lumioi's city to celebrate the five defenders of Kalos region and to cheer their new champion, Draven. Look at that, guys. Oh, yes. We're walking. We're strutting. That's right. We are the champs. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The five defenders. Okay, so my question is, what did they do to defend this region? I mean, I did it all, but yeah, whatever. Okay, I'll share the glory. What an amazing turnout. All these people are here to celebrate your achievements. Mm, that is true. And look at this. I'd like to present you with the honor of Kalos for the bravery you've shown. I'm so proud of you all. On behalf of the entire Kalos region, I'd like to say... I'd like to say what? What, what, what? Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. But wait. This kind of feels like uh, Star Wars in a bit. And uh, would you look at that? AZ is here. And he's going to be walking straight to us. He's going to be like... Battle with me. Okay. He wants to smoke. Let's give him. Alrighty. Okay. Let's do this. I want to know what a trainer is. So here it is, guys. One last battle, and you're taking on Pokemon Trainer AZ, the bringer of destruction and all that stuff, and he will have three Pokemon. And you know what the funny thing is? These Pokemon are probably like a thousand, three thousand, or four thousand years old or something. That's kind of the that's kind of the funny thing. Anywho, let's go ahead and defeat them all. Let's go with a Psychic attack right here, and that right there makes this Pokemon faint. Holy crud! That easily? Man, okay. Here comes a Golurk, and we're, we're going to continue on right here with uh, Star Fox. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go straight for a Shadow Ball. And 
and the Shadow Ball does its trick, and Golurk has been defeated. I think I'm going to be sweeping this guy with just one Pokemon. Holy crud. And he's coming out with a Sigil Lift. Holy crud, I am sweeping this guy. Oh my god. Okay, AZ, I'm not going to talk a crap on you, but yeah. Here we go, Shadow Ball for the win. And uh, yes, I am throwing out the peace sign. I am the champ. I am the champ. <laughs> and look at that. It brings a smile to him. So after defeating AZ, he's going to feel liberated. He's like, thank you very much for battling with me. Now I feel free. Free from the part of me that mirrored uh, the sorrow, the part of me that built the ultimate weapon. But wait. Something miraculous happens, and it is this. The Pokemon that lost its life, that it helped revive with that ultimate weapon, has come back. Oh my god. Look at this. And just like that, guys, AZ is forgiven from with this Pokemon. Floet! This is a pretty rare Floet, too. It's been 3,000 years! Well, just like that, guys, we help we help a man, and his Pokemon is waiting all this time. Oh, yeah, he, it was waiting, huh? So, we helped this man, you know, uh, get his whole Pokemon back. I mean, it, uh, it comes full circle and all that stuff, but we would like a, a backstory to this whole thing. So, there it is, guys. We've won the Pokemon League. We help AZ reunite with Floet. We are uh, the heroes of the Kalos region. Yes, I am throwing out that peace sign. Yes. Alrighty, okay. So I'm gonna make it short and sweet right here, guys. Um, I told you that this this is gonna be ending pretty quickly. Uh, it's it's Pokemon X and Y. Uh, there's not a lot of things that you know have been put into this game. Unfortunately, there's no third version game and all that stuff. Um, so what we're gonna be doing? I I am hoping that I complete this this game in five episodes. That way we can start going into the Alola region. As many of you guys already know. I stopped midway over in Pokemon Moon because of a certain situation and all that stuff, but I'm going to be back with Pokemon Sun. Um, other than that, let's see. Other than that, guys, I'm I'm excited. I'm happy. Uh, you know, I'm 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 very proud of you know the the amount of games that I'm coming out with, and you know, I'm I'm very happy that you guys are supporting it and everything. Uh, to be quite honest, I know that I am not a big YouTuber like many of these other ones right here with all these views and all that stuff, but I simply do this because this is fun. I love doing this. I love entertaining you guys in my own way. For those who love me and have subscribed, thank you. Uh, for those who keep on hating on me and all that stuff, well, thank you for the comments because you still watch my videos. Other than that, guys, there will be... The goal is to finish this in five episodes. And then after that, Pokemon Sun. And trust me, we're going to be doing a lot of work on that because crud, it has a lot of material in it. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being very, very supportive throughout the years and throughout this walkthrough. I will see you guys again in the next episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.